After all these years, Sam B's Who Do You Voodoo song is still worth dying for. Get me out of this beach party! Hey hey hey! Welcome to my channel everyone! I'm the Global Cherry and today I'll be revealing new details for Dead Island 2. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show! Remember Dead Island 2's iconic trailer where the jogger couldn't hear surrounding chaos due to his noise-canceling earphones? He also gets his Yeezy stolen by Jack Black. Freaking awesome! Let's go! Dude, chill! I got this! In 2014, Dead Island 2 took the world by storm with that trailer and then dipped for 8 years. It left the Dead Island community waiting and waiting for the sequel until they became the undead. Now we gonna reach another whole new level! What if I tell you that this first-person action RPG is coming back and in better shape than ever? News spread around like a bomb blowing up of Dead Island 2's return from development hell. In fact, Tom Henderson provided great news on Twitter that Dead Island 2's re-announcement is scheduled for opening night live at Gamescom on August 23rd. We're getting a re-reveal, people! Recently, an Amazon listing for Deep Silver's published game showcased leaked screenshots, a deleted description of Dead Island's hyped sequel, a price, and the release date, it looks like we will return to the world of horror, dark humor, and over-the-top zombie slaying. The first leaked screenshot shows a zombie enjoying a wonderful beach day sunbathing. The second leaked screenshot features a player choking a zombie on the streets of LA. The zombie also appears to be wearing bling and sunglasses. The third screenshot features a more chilling environment where the player is surrounded in a parking lot by zombies with no eyes. What could be the reasoning for designing the undead this way? The player wields a wrench-like weapon with the words "Right on on it. From the screenshots, it looks as if Deep Silver is individualizing each zombie in a unique way. Their intention was to create mutations that would become the reanimated rotten heart of Dead Island 2. There will be dozens of distinct zombie types reacting realistically and having their own mutations, attacks, and hundreds of LA-themed variants. On to the plot of Dead Island 2. Los Angeles is infected by a deadly virus turning its inhabitants into ravenous zombies. The whole city is in quarantine and the military retreated, leaving you to fend for yourself. You will survive in the city and explore iconic locations of the City of Angels, ranging from the verdant suburbia of Beverly Hills to the quirky promenade of Venice Beach. While you explore the city, you will be bitten, infected, but also more than just immune. Throughout the game, you will learn to harness the zombie inside. Other fellows like yourself are resistant to the pathogen, and together you will hold the future of LA and humanity in the balance. An intro for Dead Island 2 was leaked where Jack Black gives you advice when living in infested LA. Short version. Society has crumbled. We gotta rebuild it together. You have awesome zombie slaying powers of doom. You in? Applying his wisdom, you will survive, evolve, and save the world while living a typical day in LA as one of the six characters. Each of the six survivors will have their own personality and dialogue. You can also fully customize the abilities of your chosen zombie slayer with Deep Silver's brand new skill system. This will allow you to respec instantly, try out crazy builds, and explore gore-drenched Los Angeles with ease. Dead Island 2's story will lead you to meet life-changing characters, slay countless enemies in great detail, and most importantly, help you discover who or what you are in this stylish and vibrant apocalyptic universe. Speaking of slaying, the combat in Dead Island 2 will provide you with an intense, visceral, and gory first-person experience with plenty of tactical and brutal weapon options to mow through the zombie horde. Here's some combat from the old Dead Island 2 gameplay. I'm pretty sure the developers evolved it as time passed by. The Dead Island 2 Day 1 Edition cover is revealed where one of the survivors is chilling in the pool while the undead wait for him. This edition includes a Memories of the Bonoi Pack with a Bonoi War Club, a baseball bat for violencing the undead, a balanced weapon perk, and a personal space skill card. PS4 and PS5's Day 1 Edition made its way into Amazon.com for $69.99 for a couple of hours before being taken down. Sources say that Dead Island 2 has been rebooted a couple of times and played a big focus on cooperative play. Ah, so many good memories from Dead Island Co-op. Thank you! I think he's dead! 
The leak on Amazon also showed the release date to be February 3rd, 2023. It looks like zombie bites aren't going to be the only things that hurt that year. Our wallets will hurt us the same, as many awaited games appear to be released that year. Overall, it looks like Dead Island 2 will not stay dead for long. Since 2014, it's been suffering a series of delays and changes of developers. The dev team and publishers have been having disagreements over those years on the direction the game should go, causing the game developer Jaeger to leave Deep Silver behind in search of more people to aid in development. Will Dead Island 2 meet the hype people had many years ago? How much has the game changed since then? Comment down your opinions on Dead Island 2. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to join the family for more content like this. Will you place hopes for Dead Island 2? Or will you consider it a dying light game minus the parkour? Thank you for watching, and that's all.